What horror movie actors look like in real life. They strike fear in our hearts, they give us the creeps, and sometimes we even feel disgusted by them. The monsters in horror movies often become the most memorable screen characters. Their appearance scares us not any less than sudden sounds and impressive special effects. But in real life, the actors who play those monsters are nothing like them. Charming smiles and elegant style. How could these people possibly transform into the creeper in Jeepers Creepers and the bride in black from the insidious? Let's take a look at 12 of the most striking transformations actors underwent in horror movies. How many of them would you recognize in real life? Number 12. Pennywise the Dancing Clown, Bill Skarsgård, IT, 2017. The clown from IT is famous for his demonic smile and the ability to show you your worst fears. We bet your worst fears look nothing like Bill Skarsgård, a 27-year-old handsome actor from Sweden. He has also been in the Divergent series, Allegiant, and Anna Karenina, but became truly famous after the role of the scary clown Pennywise. During filming, Bill was so good in his role that he made half the kids on the set cry. Have you seen IT? Scary, right? Hit like if you agree. And if now that you know the real-life Skarsgård, you want to see more of him playing creepy characters, try watching Hemlock Grove, the Netflix horror series. You will love him as a half-human, half-vampire. Number 11. Mama, Javier Boté. Mama, 2013. People sometimes call Javier Boté the special effects man because he can play roles that nobody else can. He played demons in Crimson Peak, The Other Side of the Door, and The Conjuring 2. He was also a terrifying zombie in Wreck. His unique talent for transformations is obvious. It is supported by his unique physical traits. Bote has extremely long and fine fingers, and is 6.6 .6 feet tall with a weight of 123 pounds. The actor was diagnosed with Marfan Syndrome at an early age, and his appearance is the result of it. Surely, it makes his characters even more special. Next time you watch a horror movie, look closely at the monsters. Maybe one of them is Javier Boté. Yes, that funny tall guy can play any of them. Number 10. Dren, Delphine Chaneac, Splice 2009 As you can see from her elegant looks and name, Delphine Chaneac was born in France. She is not only a talented actress and model, but also a writer and a DJ. She was already very popular in her own country for playing in sitcoms, but she became internationally famous after the release of Splice in 2009. As preparation for the role, she listened to Cure and classical music. More than that, she shaved her head for it. Dren is a genetically modified, creepy-looking creature. It took some good old prosthetics and some digital add-ons to create Dren as we saw her on the screen. It is interesting that she was originally not supposed to be bald. The film's director, Vincenzo Natali, had to change plans and character's appearance because of financial reasons. It would have been way more expensive to transform Delphine into a mutant with hair on her head. The actress did not mind, but insisted on shaving her hair off herself. She went to a mall in Toronto where they were shooting the movie, took the machine from the hairdresser and just shaved her head. The video of her doing it became very popular, just like the movie itself. Number 9. Samara, Bonnie Morgan, Rings, 2016 One of the most popular horror movies of all time made you fear your TV set and unexpected phone calls for a while. It's okay to admit it. Samara became a true inspiration for your Halloween costume, but you most likely had no idea what Samara could look like in real life till now. Actress Bonnie Morgan was an acrobat in the past, so it was really easy for her to play Samara in Rings, the most recent movie in the Ring series. Interestingly, she was also a stunt person in the well scene in Hideo Nakata's The Ring 2. However, she wasn't mentioned in the credits. Number 8. Pyramid Head, Roberto Campanella, Silent Hill, 2006. <laughs> 
actor and choreographer Roberto Campanella played not only the role of Pyramid Head, but also Colin the Janitor in Silent Hill. He also coordinated the movements of all the creatures and managed the actors who played them. Silent Hill is not the only famous horror movie Campanella played in. His most recent part was the organ-playing clown in It. More than that, he is now a great guest dance teacher for ballet companies in Canada, Germany, Italy, Korea, and Japan. So, many of today's famous ballet dancers across the world can say they got their moves from Pyramid Head. They say real ballet art can be so beautiful and powerful it is almost terrifying. Number 7. The Creeper, Jonathan Breck, Jeepers Creepers, 2001 If you ever met Jonathan Breck in the streets of Houston where he was born, you would hardly tell he could be a monster which hunts for human body parts every 23rd spring. But it was really him who played the Creeper in Jeepers Creepers. He even did most of the stunts himself and did some serious research to play the role. Breck wanted to make Creeper look and behave like someone who's been in the world for so many generations and learned from them. So, the actor studied the movements and behavior of people from several epochs to play Creeper even better. Breck is known not only as a movie and theater actor, but also as a movie director and producer. In 2004, he directed the thriller Dreamland, and the movie was released in 2005. Number 6. Michelle Crane, Danielle Bizzuti, Insidious, Chapter 2, 2013 The bride in black in the second chapter of Insidious looks terrifying and super elegant at the same time. Well, at least her younger version does. The role was played by Danielle Bizzuti. This American actress starred in TV series such as Cold Case, The O.C., and Bones. She has also played in more than 40 movies. At the moment, Bizzuti continues to play some movie roles and write songs for films. Number 5. Jether Polk, Finn Wittrock, American Horror Story, 2011 Finn Wittrock became popular thanks to the role of Damon Miller in ABC soap opera All My Children. In 2014, he started performing in American Horror Story. You can see him in the roles of Jether Polk, Dandy Mott, and Tristan Duffy. This fine-looking gentleman received a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for his performance. You would hardly recognize him in real life because he looks so different from Jether Polk, whose body is covered with scabs and the face is partially ruined. It must not have been any easier to play Dandy Mott, though. He might look very attractive, but is a monster on the inside. Number 4. Twisty the Clown, John Carroll Lynch, American Horror Story, 2011 John Carroll Lynch started his career as a theater actor, but in the 1990s, he changed direction toward the movie industry. He played in such movies as Zodiac, Mozart and the Whale, and Gothica. You most definitely remember him as Twisty the Clown from the American Horror Story. Oh, you did not know that was him? Well, the clown who became a serial killer for the sake of kids, according to him, with a prosthesis over a missing jaw, was really played by John Carroll Lynch. Number 3. Mary Shaw, Judith Roberts, Dead Silence 2006 Judith Anna Roberts started her career in the David Lynch movie Eraserhead. However, she became truly famous after the role of Mary Shaw in Dead Silence. Shaw was known for her love for dolls and cutting people's tongues out. Yikes! Judith still stars in films even at the age of 82. Way to go, Miss Roberts! Number 2. Zombie, Zan Angelovich, The Walking Dead, 2010. What a beautiful young lady. What a charming smile. Said no one ever about the bloodthirsty zombie Zan Angelovich in The Walking Dead. But look at her in real life. No surprise the girl is now a successful model. Number 1. Bride in Black, Tom Fitzpatrick, Insidious, Chapter 3, 2015. Remember we were talking about the elegant evil coming as the bride in black? Well, that was her in her better days. You would unlikely say elegant or attractive about the older version. The biggest surprise is that it was played by a man. Tom Fitzpatrick is the actor who played the terrifying monster who hunted people in the movies Insidious Chapter 2 and Insidious Chapter 3. 
He did it brilliantly, didn't he? Hit thumbs up if you agree. Now it is time for the bonus we promised to share. Here comes the Joker from the Suicide Squad. Bonus, the Joker, Jared Leto, Suicide Squad 2016. The famous singer from the band 30 Seconds to Mars is also a great actor. He even won an Oscar for his role in Dallas Buyers Club, where he acted with Matthew McConaughey. In 2016, Jared Leto played the Joker in Suicide Squad. Fans of the comics were confused by the image of the Joker at first, but they got used to it and even enjoyed Leto's character in the movie. Unfortunately, he had a very small role. All these transformations are quite impressive, right? Click the like button if you agree. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, there is plenty of good stuff coming your way. Stay on the bright side of life.